Okay, today we're going to be doing a one Pokemon challenge on Pokemon Platinum, but we're going to use Munchlax this time. I changed Turtwig to Munchlax, so later on I'll probably have Infernape. Our Munchlax has a sassy nature with the ability to pick up, which ain't going to be too helpful. First, we have to take on our rival, get hit with Scratch, and we use Metronome, which I didn't know Munchlax knew. Getting acid armor, so not much help. And getting hit with Leer. Metronome again. We get Miracle Eye, which is also no help. <laughs> Make sure we can't miss. Leer again. Uh, next Metronome gives us Crunch. Takes about half health. And our last Metronome gives us Drill Peck. Taking Chimchar out and giving us our first win of the run. We then get our Pokédex and head to Jubilof City. Where Dawn still questions us for only having one Pokemon. Like she didn't learn anything from the Bidoof run. Now come on. You should know by now. And then we have to take Barry on yet again. Start, it starts off with Quick Attack. And we start off with some Defense Curls. We then hit it with Return. We're not able to do much because all the Growls we get hit with. So we trade Returns and Quick Attacks for a few turns. So we're eventually able to take it out. And of course, since Chimchar in, but he starts using Leer. So we just start returning and try to take it out. Just back and forth. So we make our way to the first city. We have to go get Rourke so we can get our first badge. Of course, after he shows us how to smash a rock, like we haven't done this like 9,000 times already. Anyway, we have nothing for this, really. So we just have to use Metronome because return, I know, is not going to work. First turn, though. First go through. Use some moves I've never heard of, and it makes me faint. All right, we start with the fence curls. We just hit with rock throws. Then use metronome and get headbutt, which is not very helpful. Better just use return at that point. Follow also don't help, but he misses his rock throw and focus blast. That, that's good. Onyx comes out. We get fake tears on him. Gets us with rock throw, and we get roar of time. Like. With the crit, like it's crazy. And we get hit with two headbutts and cause us to flinch, but we get Zen headbutt with the metronome. We get a critical hit, giving us the first badge. We then run into the same little girl saying her dad's been kidnapped. Like my goodness, why does he? This happened to him all the time. Guess we'll save again. We get the key, so we can take on Mars to save this dude yet again. My right, bro, find a different job. <laughs> Well, the Zubat starts off with Bite, and we use Return. Almost taking it out. We have to get hit with another Bite before we can finish it off with another Return. Fergal comes in, uses Fake Out, of course, causing us to flinch. And we get hit with a Feint Attack. Before we use Return. Taking about half. With another Scratch. Use your turn again. They can get down to the red, but it's Orenberry. Brings it back up to the yellow. So we have to take another scratch before we finish off the battle with another return. That's literally... I don't want to take rest of metronome. We save this dude yet again and make our way to Eternal City where we go straight to the gym. Now, I'm not going to lie. This gym was a struggle and it didn't help that I transformed in a chair one chair one time. Anyway the room we finally get she starts off with her twig for some reason it starts off with reflect we get some stockpiles in. Get it with the razor leaf which crits of course. We just get our the stockpile in and he gets with sunny day. We get our last stockpile in. We get hit with another razor leaf and we're able to hit the turn with a turn. We hit with another Razor Leaf. We hit with another return. Came into the red. He uses the potion. We use return. Put the reflect now off. So we get him back into the red instantly. Have to get hit with another Razor Leaf. Or if one final return takes him out. Next is Cherim. Use a safeguard. And we use return. Surprise, surprise. Take it to the yellow. We get hit with grass knot, which doesn't do much because of stockpiles. 
So another return takes it out. Last is Rosary. We get hit with Grass Nut again, but Scott Piles really saved us. We hit a return. Take it out in one shot because we get a crit. Giving us badge number two. We're going to have to go in this weird building to face Team Galactic to save this man's Pokemon. Get hit with a wing attack from Zubat, but then we hit a return. It would take it out in one shot. This is Gun Tank, which was Night Slash. But we hit it with return two. Taking it down to the yellow, but he heals up with his berry. We take another Night Slash. Gets down to the yellow. We hit another return. They can get down to the yellow. Get with yet another one. Leaving us with only 9 HP. But one final return. And we're able to take out the Skun Tank. We then go to Heart Home City. Take on the Ghost Gym. This battle just goes, you know, pursuit. Get our stock piles up. And then it's just licking away. We literally just spam lick through her all her Pokemon. Hell, yeah, we're eventually able to take them all out. So we can get badge number three. Take away to Velstone City, which has the fighting gym. So you already know that it's not going to go well. And like I said, it's constant. I can get past the Metatype, but the Machoke just kept taking me out. So eventually we went and got an next defense. We get hit with the fake out. And a drain punch. We'll take it pretty well since we got the X defense. And then we hit it with the return. Taking it out in one shot. Because with choke, the ghost for focus energy this time. And we're able to actually one tap him with return. With the crit. And last is Lucario. Hits us with the force palm. I guess the yellow. We then hit return on him. Taking him down to the yellow. Then he hits us with a drain punch. Which, thank goodness, because it does a lot less. Leaves us with 7 HP. And even with the heals, one more return. Takes him out. Giving us badge number four. Let me go take on Crasher Wake instantly. Is Gyarados starts with a waterfall. And we start with our returns. That's pretty much all we have. And luckily, we were able to crit. One shot the Gyarados. Also comes out, hits us with a crunch. We hit another return. And we take it to the yellow, which activates its berry. Take it back to the green. We get hit with another crunch. Luckily, don't flinch. We hit another return. Taking it out. And last is Quagsire. It hits us with Yawn. And we use Return. Taking it to the yellow. Shots for Yawn again. And we finish it off with Return. Give us badge number five. Technically. Then get the secret potion from Cynthia to move the side ducks. We could take the box to her grandma. But then Cyrus wants to battle us, but it's actually not much of a of a fight, because with one sight his Sneasel. And his Golbat. We hit Macro. We have to go fight Barry yet again. His Star Raptor starts out with double team. And we hit it with return. There's a lot of returns. Always imagine a turn. Take it out in one shot, actually. Aircross comes out, hits Brick Break. Doing a decent amount on us. We hit it with a turn. Take it out in one shot. Inferno hits with Brick Break 2. And we hit it with the return. One shot it. Being over level right now is working in my favor. We get it with Swift. Which doesn't do much, even though it's a crit. 
We hit it, hit it with return. And lo and behold, one shot it too. Last is Roserade, that only goes for Toxic Spikes. And we use return on it too. Taking it out. This fight was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, honestly. We go fight Byron. Wait, we can get hit with Thunderbolt, Magneton. We can hit we can with Fire Blast that I literally bought and talked to him right before this. Giving us the one tap. Dillis comes in, hits us with an Earthquake, doing decent damage. We hit it with Return, doing nothing. So we decide to go for Fire Blast next turn, taking it out. Bastard Bastardon, and we just go back and forth because it runs out of moves to damage me. So we're able to finally take it out and get badge number six. Yeah. Then we go to the library, meet up with them, and we decide to go face criminals as children. So we go take on Saturn, I think it is. We get poison, and we'll use return on his Golgat, taking it out, of course, because we are really high level at this point. So, Dr. Croak wasn't much of a problem. I'm surprised we outsped him. Honestly, because we ain't spent nothing so far. So, this is crazy. Last is Bronzor, but we hit it with Fire Blast. Taking it down to the red. And one more turn. Take it out. And we gotta go help Dawn with Mars. Who also starts out with her go bat that poisons us. We're able to hit it with the turn, take it out. She sends in Bronzer now. It sets up with Iron Defense. And we hit it with the Fire Blast, taking it out. As a Spurgly, she hits it with Slash. And we hit a return, taking out one shot. But then you'll go help Barry, but he says we can't until we beat the gym. Like, bro, you go you know you need me. I'll maybe go get this badge, but I'll go get it anyway. Yeah, this was kind of a struggle, I'm not gonna lie, between the hell. But on the run, we finally get to it. He starts out with Sneasel, he uses Fain Attack, and we hit Return. He then sends out a Bomb of Snow, who starts her hell. She's been taking me out so much, so I went and I got Sunny Day. We get hit with the Wood Hammer before we can set it up. And then we hit the Bomb of Snow with Fire Blast, where we could. One tap it. Next is Frostless, and we outspeed it somehow and hit it with the Fire Blast 2. We take it out, and last is Palaswan, who sets up the hell again, but still, one last Fire Blast is able to take it out, giving us badge number 7. And there we gotta go help Barry, but he's already lost, so there's no point. We go face Cyrus. And yet again, his team really wasn't much of a challenge here. As we were able to one-shot the Sneasel. We get confused by Crobat. But we break through it and hit him with Return. Taking him all the way to the reds with 1 HP. It's a full restore. We snap out of the confusion. We hit him with another Return. And this time we get a crit and take him out. The last is his Haunch Crow. And we also hit with Return. I don't know why I keep saying we hit it with Tone, because, you know, that's all we use. And we one-tap it. We go release the Lake Trio. We can make our way to Mount Cornet. And Mars and Jupiter fight is pretty simple. Especially with having Barry. So we go right straight into the Storefront world. Chase after Cyrus. After we finally get to him again, his team has drastically changed. Starts off with Hound Doom, where it's just with Flamethrower. It's just Flamethrower again as we hit it with the return, taking it out. Next comes out Honcho. We get an X defense in, get hit Night Slash, get a special defense in, and then Drill Peck. We heal up. We're gonna take another Drill Peck, two more Drill Pecks, and we use return to take it out. Next is Gyarados, hits us with Waterfall. A single return takes him out too. We've all hit us with a fake out, of course, causing us to flinch. Got to take another ice punch before we get to use return. Takes it out with a crit. Last is Crobat, who hits us with cross poison. 
But we use return yet again, over liable, to finish off the battle. Then we go ahead and just use a match on Garatina. Just to, you know, have him. Anyway, we make our way to the last gym leader, Volker. His Jolteon hits us with a Thunder Wave, paralyzing us. Off to a bad start. Because it takes effect. His Jolteon uses Iron Tail. Taking us down to 240, and we hit with the return, taking it out. We are a much higher level than, than them. Rachu's attack misses, luckily. So we're able to hit it with return, take it down. Next is Electrovire that hits us with a Thunder Punch. Doing a good amount of damage, and we are paralyzed. I take another Thunder Punch, taking us into the yellow. As we finally hit a return on him, taking him out. And last is Luxray. He hits us with Thunder Fang. Taking us all the way to 27 HP. But guess what? Return! And we one-shot him with a crit. And we get our 8th badge. We make our way to the Pokemon League. Before we go in, Barry wants to fight. But it don't even matter. We beat the crap out of him with three of his Pokemon having... Post combat. So on to the Elite Four. Starting with Aaron. Got Mega Ghost for double teams, so we just take it out for returns. If you're wondering why my Munchlax got such a high level, I used all my rare candies before coming in here. Mostly because. Well, for Cynthia, honestly. But it kind of ended up being a little too much, I think. As we're able to kind of just wipe the floor with Aaron. Pretty much. I mean, it does get close, but we are able to take him out. <laughs> so, next is Bertha. Get yeah, with the Opera Tail, but we, like I said, two high levels, so we're going to return. It will take out the Wish Cash. We do get hit with an Earthquake doing massive damage, but the Surf takes out the Glass Gore. The Powdon comes out, hits us with another Earthquake. We hit it with Surf, taking it out to the yellow. Gets a full restore off, so we hit it with Return and get a crit, taking it out. Next is Golem, which we have to heal at this point, or we'll just lose. Bro, tell me how y'all feel about me using items. Like, y'all against that, or y'all not care? Anyway, we finally take it out with Surf, and that's his Rhyperior. So it comes in, hits us with an Earthquake, takes us to 50. But one Surf, we will take it out. And it's on the flint. He starts off with Hound Doom, hit with a flamethrower. We use a turn, one shot it. Infernape comes out, goes for Flare Blitz, surprisingly. So we will one return, take it out. Rapid Dash is third, sets up Sunny Day. So we just take it out with another return. Flareon comes out, miss it overheat. It goes down. Magmortar is last, hits us with a Solar Beam. Not doing much, and hey, we take it down. On to the last Elite Four member, Lucian. Also, Mr. Mom with Reflect. But one return still takes it down. Blade comes out, uses the Leaf Blade. We almost take it out with return, but it heals up with this berry. But one more return takes it out. Next comes Alakazam, who knows his Focus Blast. Good thing it's not Stab. And we take it out with one return. Yeah, just return. It was a psychic. Return takes it out. Last is Bronzong, and guess what? Return. You never guessed that, did you? I wouldn't have. Now it's time to face Cynthia. He starts with a Spirit Tomb. Hits with a Dark Pulse. We have to surf it away because that's the only move we have that'll hit it. Because uh, returns a normal type. So there is that. Well, we finally take it out. Out comes Lucario. It's with an Aura Sphere, which kind of scared me, but we survive it. We get to the yellow with a turn, then it misses its Stone Edge, and we take it out with another return. Next is Togekiss, it also knows Aura Sphere. We hit it with the return, taking it out. But next is Garchomp, we heal up, and then take massive damage from Dragon Rush. And we have to take an Earthquake, but a single return takes him out too. Next is Milotic. Hits us with the Surf. Return. Surprise, surprise. Last is Roserade. 
Hit us with a sludge bomb. We survive on 22 HP and take it out. Getting us into the Hall of Fame. Using only a Munchlax. Like I said earlier, like, tell me what you'll feel about me using like potions and the uh, X defense and attack stuff. Like I don't use the X defense and attack much in this run. Like I did in the Badoof one. But just tell me what you think. Well, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.